This is an amazing study in reference to prunes and bone health overall. In essence, we're adding an extra dimension to the benefit of prunes. In particular, what research we're looking at typically in reference to evaluating bone health was bone density. However, there's so much more, and this is where prunes came in. So to proceed, as follows. Got prunes? Prunes may preserve bone density and strength in older women. Prior studies primarily used dual energy X-ray absorptiometry, otherwise known as your DEXA scan, to evaluate 2D bone mass density and to diagnose osteoporosis. Remember, the prior objective here is really truly to reduce fracture risk. Increasing bone density sounds promising, but it's only a small part of the overall picture. But DEXA scans cannot distinguish between different types of bone tissue or measure the structural properties of bone, which can serve as a proxy for bone strength and quality. Now, we open the door to 3D scans which is something you may want to keep up here because it seems a little bit more advanced than your uh, traditional DEXA scans. To proceed, quote, when we look at bone mineral density, we're looking at how much bone there is, but we also want to know the quality of the bone. Density could also mean more brittle, per se. Again, the objective is to reduce fracture risk, even more so than just basically looking at density overall. We want to know more about the quality of the bone. When we look at a three-dimensional picture, here we go, the extra dimension, we can look at bone structure, geometry, microarchitecture. In other words, it tells us how good the bone is, end quote, the researcher. To see whether daily prune consumption influenced bone quality, the research team conducted a 12-month randomized control study with 235 postmenopausal women. Participants were assigned to one of three groups, no prunes, 50 grams, which equals four to six prunes daily, or 100 grams, 10 to 12 prunes daily. Every six months, they were assessed using a peripheral quantitative computed tomography, or PQCT. Seems to be a little bit more of an advanced scan overall. So PQCT seems to be something you want to keep up here in the memory banks, which allows for cross-sectional imaging to measure 3D bone mass density bone geometry, and bone strength. Over the course of one year, the researchers found that the measures of bone density and bone strength at the tibia and shin bone all decreased, went down, in the control group, the no prune group. In contrast, those who ate at least four to six prunes every day maintained bone density and bone strength and preserved bone structure. Almost sounds kind of cruel to the no prune group. This is why bringing these studies to your attention is very important to get a good head start, particularly in the cortical bone. While women in both prune groups saw the benefit, four to six prunes a day may be a more feasible dose. Women in the 100 gram group, remember that's 10 to 12 prunes per day, that's a lot of prunes, dropped out of the study at a higher rate because they got bored of incorporating so many prunes into the daily diet. You can empathize to proceed and to conclude. It's pretty exciting data for a 12-month study, according to the researcher. We were able to maintain and preserve bone at the weight-bearing cortical bone of the tibia and the maintenance of cortical bone and bone strength, which is the key to avoiding fracture. Prunes offer a promising alternative, according to the doctor, for they may contain, there's a hypothesis of why prunes may appear to work so well, they make, they contain bioactive compounds like polyphenols that may blunt the inflammatory pathways that lead to bone loss, which is kind of interesting because looking at more than just calcium, vitamin D, magnesium, and so on and so forth, we're looking at a really an exceptional tool that seems to maintain other quality aspects of the bone beyond that of just density that can help reduce fracture risk which is quite amazing. Now, also too, keep in mind, we covered this study before, or studies like it, about two years ago. So, and these follow-up studies were getting redundancy, which is really promising in confirming our prior studies and adding confidence to the fact that prunes 
may be a pretty incredible nutraceutical in reducing fracture risk overall, or i.e. maintain good bone health. Again, incredible research, simple, easy to read, easy to read through, link will be there. Uh, gratitude to the researchers, as we always, and I am humble you watch and look forward to see what you and I explore next week. All right, catch y'all next time. See you then. Bye.